Hello friends, this video on nutrition in animals part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have spoken about the important parts inside the oral cavity, let us discuss about them in more detail, especially teeth because they play a very crucial role in the process of digestion. Now in teeth, there are two types of dentition that are possible or that happens in animals. So now what do we mean by dentition? Dentition means uh, how many sets of teeth a particular organism has. Now there, there are of two types. One is diphyodont dentition. In di, di means two. The word di means two. So in those animals which have diphyodont dentition, they have two sets of teeth. That means those animals will have one set of teeth first and then all of those teeth will fall and they will go off and then again a new set of teeth will be formed. So in their entire lifetime, two sets of teeth will appear. So these type of animals are called to have diphyodont dentition. So this type of dentition is seen in most of the mammals. So it is more common in the mammals. So as I said, di means two, fio means growth and don't means teeth. So teeth grows two times in a per, in a in an animal's lifetime. So what are those two sets of teeth? Like in case of human beings, you would have heard that when the babies are born, so immediately over a couple of months, their teeth start appearing. So those teeth are nothing but temporary milk teeth because those teeth, they are temporary. They do not remain throughout lifetime. By the time the kids are around 8 to 10 years of age, these temporary teeth start falling off and they are all replaced by a permanent set of adult teeth and these teeth are permanent. So they are going to be there throughout life. Now once they start falling off, then no teeth will come up to replace them. So now the number of milk teeth which appears in case of children are 20. So a total of 20 milk teeth appears and these 20 milk teeth gets replaced by a total of 32 permanent adult teeth. So this type of dentition where in, in a lifetime first you get one set of teeth and then those teeth go off and again they are replaced by another set of teeth that is called diphyodont dentition. The other type of dentition is is the one where only one set of teeth is formed throughout lifetime. So there is no concept of milk teeth and adult teeth and this is also seen in some animals. Now again another speciality about the teeth of human beings is that they have thicodont teeth. Now what is the meaning of thicodont? The teeth in human beings, they are set in sockets of jaw bones. So if you try to observe your tooth closely, you will see that each tooth, this is how a tooth will look like. So this is the tooth and this tooth is actually fit on a socket. So it is fitted in the socket. So this is like a socket, like how you have a plug and a socket. So you see here you have the plug point and this is the socket. So the socket, the plug actually fits into the socket. Similarly here the tooth exactly fits into the socket and this socket is nothing but the jaw bone. So if you try to observe your tooth in the mirror, you will be able to see the, uh, the jaw bones which are present below which are kind of reddish in color, pinkish reddish in color. So the way a plug fits into the wall socket in a very similar way, the tooth also fits into the jaw bone socket and this type of tooth are known as thecodont. So now I just spoke about the permanent and primary teeth. So let us see what are these. So when you talk about the primary teeth, so they are the deciduous teeth or the temporary teeth. So they are not going to be there throughout. So it appears and during childhood days, like when a baby is born within a couple of months, they start appearing around when the baby is around six months of age and they later get replaced by permanent teeth. So they get replaced uh, somewhere around eight to 10 years of age. So at this age, they get replaced by permanent teeth. So they are total 20 in number. So total 20 permanent teeth, uh, primary teeth exists. 
Now, as I was telling some time back that if you look at the, all the teeth which we have inside our mouth, not all of them are exactly similar in structure. So they have different structures and they have specific functions to perform. So based on their structure and function, uh, there are four types of teeth which exist inside our mouth. Now, what are the four types? The four types of teeth are molars, premolars, incisors and canine. So these are the four types of teeth that exist inside our mouth. So when you talk about the primary teeth, so the 20 total primary teeth which are present out of them, 8 of them are incisors, 4 are canine and 8 are molars. So no premolars exist uh, in the primary teeth set. So these incisors are present in front of the mouth. So the teeth which are present exactly in front of the mouth. So whenever you smile, the teeth which are visible, the front ones, they are the incisors. Whereas molars and premolars, they are present at the corners and they are specifically used for biting purpose. Now, in case of permanent teeth, they never get replaced. So they will be there just forever. However, they might also fall. If you do not take proper care of teeth, they might also fall quite early than expected, but then they never get replaced. So they are total 32 in number. That is, in their case, incisors, canines, molars, they are present. On top of these, premolars are also present. So here you see, molars earlier, they were only 8, but now there are 12 molars. Premolars earlier, it was not at all there, but now there are 8 premolars. And that's how the total number of teeth increases from 20 to 32. So let us now quickly discuss the four types of teeth. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.